Hello everyone and welcome to Live in the Classroom. This is our first one of the semester. We're at Armin Bayou Elementary School today and today we're inside Miss Caitlin Baez's math class, fourth grade math class. Thanks so much for having us. Absolutely. We're excited to kick off the new Live in the Classroom segment here at Armin Bayou. Um, so we're talking math today. Mm -hmm. What are we learning about? So we've been um, learning place value and really like building on what they learned in third grade. And so we're going, we're pushing them into the billions. And mm -hmm. so today is a practice day for them. So they'll just be um, doing stations and working um, synergistically okay. and kind of, um, you know, problem solving through those Yeah, things. and then, mm -hmm. so we're gonna see that lesson first and just a little bit, and then they'll mm -hmm. break out into activity. But you were telling me that you actually worked with some of these kids last year. I did. So you were able to build those connections with those students, and then how is that helping you this year with learning new math equations and, and, and uh, logistics and things like that? Yeah, absolutely. So I, um, I looped with my kids last year, and mm -hmm. so a lot of my kids that you see in the room I actually had last year. And a lot of the other ones, they were in the switch class the other switch class so I've really gotten to build those relationships with them and it's tremendously helped just getting like like a foot just like we're running to go yeah it's not we don't have to like spend as much time kind of you know getting sure. to know each other sure. I mean we still do but because <laughs> um, we love each other yeah. but um, it's been really cool seeing them already start to grow mm -hmm. and and really learn new things so and it makes that excited. transition a little bit easier it, for them as well tremendously yeah. easier so um, math I mean, I struggled with that. That's a difficult subject, especially once you get to fourth, fifth grade for a mm -hmm. lot of kids. So um, how is it, how do you make it a little bit simpler for them? What are some of the things that you're doing? And maybe we'll see today, but what are some of those things to help them understand a little bit better? So I use a lot of manipulatives, um, hands-on activities, a lot of games. Um, they're still young, mm -hmm. even though they're fourth grade, they're still babies. They yeah. love to have fun and they love to play with each other. And games really gets um, them moving yeah. and gets them working with each other, yeah. but also practicing those skills as mm -hmm. well. And you'll see some like anchor charts around the room. And you'll also see some kids with their own anchor charts, just okay. kind of like in their journals or um, like written out on a piece of paper. And that helps them kind of anchor their thinking Perfect. and um, kind of scaffold. All right, themselves. well, we'll be talking about it. Let's Go ahead and see it in action. Alrighty, All awesome. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, friends. So we are going to start our day, excuse me, with a number talk. So I have this number. Before we start, we need to remind ourselves how we show that we're thinking and how we show that we have an answer when we do a number talk. So when we're thinking, we have awesome, a fist, thank you. And then when I have an answer, show me what that looks like. Awesome, a thumbs up, thank you. If I have another answer, am I gonna shout it out? No, you just, awesome, awesome. Okay, so you see this number right here? What are some ways that we can represent this number? Ooh, show me we're thinking, show me we have an answer. I see some answers, awesome. Okay. All right. I'm gonna share in five seconds. I'll give you five more seconds to think. Okay, who would like to share? Clifton? Okay, can you, sh can you tell me one of those things? Um, notation. Okay, how would I write this in expanded notation? How would I write that? Um, you do like um, one, um, two times, you like go two times 10,000, and then you do those um, things so they don't fall off into space, and then you do a plus. I love that, thank and you. Then you do it three times 1,000, then plus, then eight times 100. I'm loving this thinking, plus thank you. Eight times one. Ooh, I noticed. I noticed how eight or Aiden, sorry, how Clifton um, didn't give me anything about the tens place. Why would he do that? Aiden E. Why would he do that? There is no tens place. There is no tens place. Yeah, yeah. Could I do that though? Could I write it down? Could I write zero times zero? Absolutely. Does anyone have another way that we could represent this number? Alessia. Okay. 
What would that look like? Excellent. Plus 3,000. Excellent. Plus 100. I mean 800. 800. Remember, if we have a disagree, we just show that. Plus 8. Awesome. Thank you. So we have expanded notation and expanded form. Are there any other ways that we could represent this? Don't know. Tekla? We have expanded form. It's okay. Katie? Picture, how would I do a pictorial model? What could I do? What could I do? Jude? Um, so 10,000 times 10,000. 10,000s? How many 10,000s? Um, 10. Wait, oh, wait, 10,000 is 1. 1? Yeah. 2. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. So we're going to do pictorial form. So we have a 10,000, we have another 10,000. What about, what comes next? Chloe? Uh, three, uh, 3,000. Okay, and then what comes next? Um, Can you see? Okay. How many of the little coins would I need? Eight. Eight. Ooh, my handwriting. Five, six, seven, eight. And then what comes next, Kylie? The eight ones. Okay, perfect. All right. Are there any other ways? Clifton? Standard form. Is the standard form already on my anchor chart? It is. Where is it? What color is it? It's pink. This is standard form. And remember, standard form is just the regular way to write that number. It's just the way that we see that number most times, right? Okay, so. What we are going to do today is, much like we did yesterday, we are going to do the, sta the stations for our place value practice, okay? Um, when I call your station number, I have the rotation list on my computer. So when I call your group number, you are going to move with walking feet, okay? and we are going to go to um, somewhere in the room. Do I care where we go in the room? No. You can go wherever you wanna go, right? As long as you are working as a team. Awesome. Okay, so um, group one, station one, place value bingo, Alessia, Melanie, Tekla, Kylie, and Katie, you can go ahead and go grab your stations for me. Ooh, I love the way Kylie is using walking feet. I love the way Melanie's using walking feet. And remember, friends, that if you, those math tools that we have over there in our math manipulative bins, those are there for you to help you, okay? Not just for decoration, use them, all right? Station two, place value match, Aiden, D, and Mayrella. You may go get your station. Thank you for walking feet. Station three, greater than, less than, Clifton and Bradley, go ahead. Station four, who's the greatest, Najee and Jude? Thank you, thank you. And then my last, but certainly not least, station place value trash. Go ahead and grab your station. And Josiah, I want you to join my place value trash group, okay? Come on. Pick a spot in the room. Did, did you grab your recording sheet? Mm -hmm. Yep, you just take one. This is the place value. So you take one, and then you take this, and you go find a spot in the room. Perfect, perfect. Place value trash. Yes, find Chloe. Josiah.
Yes, sir. Oh, you got it? Right there? Yeah. Good job. Good job, good job. getting started? No, you can have a pencil. There's pencils over there. Okay. Now you make sure that you bring your All right. So Jude, why don't you go ahead and start? Go ahead and build your number. You can start with whatever number you want. Remember? How are we doing, guys? Get the other folder on the counter. Hey, Aiden. That's for these two. This is your recording sheet. Sorry. Don't know how they got all mixed up. There's one for you. Okay. Wait, where's the paper that went inside of it, Naji? Where's the other paper? Go grab that. You need that. Thank you. Okay. Build a number. Almost done? Yeah. Okay. So what place value is this right here? Five what? Five. Yes, it is. It's five billion. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's a lot, huh? All right, Naj, go ahead and build your number. Keep building. All of them up. Jude filled them all up, so you fill them all up. All right, I'm going to come check on you. Remember, when you're done, Jude, when you're finished, when he's finished building, you're going to compare these two numbers. Capish? All right. Yes. Uh-huh. Gonna find a match. Absolutely. So you know what these two are, right? Yeah. It's kind of like memory. You remember that game? Yeah. So you gotta remember where these are and you gotta keep just guessing. Okay. Good job. Okay, how's it going over here? Good, let's see what we're doing. Okay, go ahead. Any number greater than 
any greater or any number greater than ten billion? Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Kylie, check that. Why don't we go look at our um, anchor chart? He says 10 billion? Oh, is that 10 billion? Let's look at that. Let's look at this. How many zeros do we see here? How many place values do we see? See six place values. When I count, if I go look over here, if I count ones, tens, hundreds, Hundred thousands, millions, ten million. So what is this? This is ten million. Show me a number that's greater than ten million. That wraps up our first live in the classroom for the fall semester of 22-23 school year. We'll see you next time.